Hey YouTube, welcome back. Thanks for joining me and clicking. Welcome back future self. Um, tried to post a video of kind of a somewhat of an essay that I made that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, it was decided originally that it was over people's heads um, and that most people would just click off of it in the middle of it and stuff like that. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and read most of it to y'all. Um, and I, I really wanted to break my thinking and worldview down into different, um, categories. And I was going to start with, um, religion and belief. So what I'm going to read to y'all, um, is what belief is and the religion of today, um, which is, uh, the belief in authority vested in man or government authority. Um, sorry, I got some coffee going going to be really good. I've already had some and I'm going to have some more. Always room for another cup, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, the what I was saying is that belief is, you know, I want to talk about belief a little bit. That it's kind of can be very dangerous because, you know, um, what you believe, how you think creates your reality around you. Belief can be dangerous because you're you're um, surrendering your ability to discern the truth for yourself. Um, and if you were, and if you seek truth and you seek the way to life, um, it, you begin to understand, you know, what is true gravity, gravity that exists. That's true. That's a law of nature. You start to understand that the truth is what is the truth is all around you. The truth is what has occurred and what is now. So there's no other, tr there's nothing else that, that you, that anybody can tell you that you haven't, that you haven't seen for yourself to be true, that you can honestly know and tell yourself that that is true, that is real. So anyways, a disclaimer here, if you guys don't, if this, none of what I'm going to say in my own words is new information, but the, I want y'all to understand that if you want to take the blue pill and you don't want to think differently than you do now, and or if you don't want, if you want to stay in, if you want your thinking to remain the same, if you don't like knowledge, if you don't like understanding, if you don't want to, un, you know, click off now, I, I just, I, if you, if you can take information in and use your own discernment, whether it's valid or not, then maybe stick around and listen. Um, but it has a lot to do with the cause, you know, the belief, the mind causal realm, basically the, the causal realm being your mind, your thoughts, and the material realm is what you, um, you know, what, it, what has become, what is, um, and, you know, our, the belief in government authority is what's created this system. And, and, you know, it's founded in evil. It's, immoral to claim authority over another person to claim a right to their income or to tell them they can't eat this or that or tell them that they this is this is how you must trade this and label and package this in order for you know it's all founded in immorality there is no authority other than the creator of create of what is there is no authority other than what is provable and knowable so there is a generative force behind creation. And in order to become truly free, you have to understand that right, right and wrong exists naturally. It is like gravity. We don't get to choose what, you know, what is right and wrong for you or for them or when you cross this border. That's all belief. That's all propagated to uphold this overt dominance and control that government has in the world today. And it's... Um, it's scary to me that a lot of people don't understand this. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to pour this cup of coffee here. Um, and I'm going to get going on reading this because I only have so much record time left on my phone. And I think this is information that needs to um, go ahead and um, start to become propagated and shared. And uh, I think that it this might be this might not be the most effective means of uh getting this information out there. But um, I think with your participation and understanding that um, that would allow us to, you know, move forward in, in drastic measures, I believe that the potential for 
understanding and the true nature of reality and the potential of the progression of humanity is much greater than the um than the few who are trying to instill complete control over every resource um i think it's time that people are starting to understand they need to start producing their own goods um or be controlled by those who are manipulating them so anyways i said i was going to stop ranting so um i'm going to read this the religion of today is the belief in government authority and the value of money. It's propagated by profiteers and social engineers um, who want to keep uh, keep you unaware. This social control, control restricts true freedom and the pro progression of humanity by manipulating the causal realm of the populations through various means and tactics, including but not limited to media control, public education, uh, coercion, theft, and violence. It's what the government does. They just call it legitimate and have you to believe it by propagating over and over and indoctrinating you from a very young age when you pledge allegiance. So anyways, uh, this uh, religion of today is covert and hidden or occulted, which is what occulted means. It means hidden. Most of the adherents and followers of this religion are unaware of their participation and support of these immoralities. To understand how this has come to pass and how it operates, we have to know the foundation on which this system of manipulation and control is built. Uh, the belief that morality is subjective is the root of this system. So believing that we have the ability to choose what is right and wrong and tell other people's that um, is the foundation of this immoral system, which is what we call government today. So anyways, claiming the ability to pick and choose what is right and wrong for ourselves and others and that these things can change according to circumstance or geographical location is the beginning of disorder and chaos. Truth and morality can be discovered and are equally absolute, just like gravity. Uh, morality is objective and can be discovered sim simply by understanding the concepts of consent, self-ownership, and harm. Um, truth is simply what has occurred and what is. To understand objective morality as truth it is most easily explained by understanding yourself and the things you would not have done to you. If you understand what things harm you, you understand what things not to do to others. You can explain this to a kid. And then you and then you explain how... What, oh, man. Don't get me started. All right. By default, uh, if you understand what things harm you and you understand things not to do to others, by default, you understand the objectivity of morality and its inherent simplicity. Understanding objective morality or natural law is there it's given to us by the universe just like gravity it's but it's natural it's it exists without anybody giving it to you other than the creator of the universe other than creation you have to believe in a generative force okay i'm giving you guys some occulted knowledge so if you if you want to turn it off then uh turn it off right now otherwise seek to discover truth for yourself and keep on up with me um knowing what is wrong or immoral allows us to understand the true definition of human rights a right is any action that does not initiate harm to another person. Mmm, that coffee is good today. Rights are infinite, inherent, and are not given to us by means of authority, documentation, geographical location, or by any other means than by being born into this world. Belief is the surrender of one's own ability to, to discern the truth for themselves. We are taught to believe from a very young age that there is an exogenous authority to tell us what is right or wrong and that there are things we cannot do and things that we must do regardless of whether or not these actions are causing harm or not. We are not taught how to discern these things for ourselves, but rather we are indoctrinated to submit to authority and follow suit with our peers without questioning why. Having people to believe that there is an authority to decide what is right and wrong for them and having them believe that they are actively engaged in electing them is the fundamental method of restricting the population's true freedom. Secret religion of today. Belief in government authority. True freedom can be expressed as the unrestricted expression of free will through actions that do not cause harm. You're free to do anything, you guys. And you're free to think for yourselves, too, by the way. And the ability to defend the right to perform those actions. So the, the freedom to perform any right action and the ability, the freedom to defend those actions, to defend your ability to perform right action. 
When a government authority does not allow you to perform any right action, they are committing an immoral act and restricting your freedom. And understanding morality's objectivity will allow us to also unveil that government oftentimes claims the authority to commit wrongdoings. So that it's like giving a power to this notion or idea, this belief system to co to commit immoral acts such as murder and theft and coercion. Um, oh, we're just following orders. Well, guess what? You're committing wrong act when you shoot that gun and kill someone. Um, even if you're following orders um, for a paycheck, guess what? You're you're wrong. Um, wrong action is wrong action, no matter under what guise it is. You know, no matter what you believe to be true, wrong is wrong. Um, there is no, there is no, um, uh, getting out of it because of some paperwork. Okay. Um, do we really need a group of armed order follow followers who kidnap, trespass, murder, and steal to protect us from people who kidnap, murder, trespass, and steal? Who is the real evil of today? What causes harm right now? How are people restricted from true freedom? Um, it's very easy to see that it is government it is prohibition that causes um you know mafia basically so when you try to restrict somebody's ability to pursue um what doesn't cause harm to somebody else and choose what to do for themselves and restricts their free will then this is where you're calling moral stuff immoral and you're calling immoral stuff everything is inverted now but especially when you're you know when it comes to government things but anyways, um, there are people who know this and who manipulate this and um, who run the world. So um, anyways, where was I? Let's see. Uh, the government oftentimes claim the authority to commit wrongdoings. Do we really need a group? Okay, we said that. Uh, order followers who kidnap, trespass, or murder, and steal to protect us from people who kidnap, murder, trespass, and steal. So the word government, when broken down etymologically, means to govern the mind. Gubinare and mente to rule over the mind, basically. All right. So there are people who understand psychology um, and the nature of reality who work to manipulate the minds of the masses in order to exert their so-called authority and exercise their ability to control the society of their sub of their subjugates into the reality they choose for their personal gains. There are people who want to keep the knowledge of the causal and material realms to themselves. Causal realm being the mind and the beliefs you know, of the masses basically is how they control the, the, the way the world operates. They make them think one way and then that's what becomes in reality. Um, so, um, understanding that psychology is the foundation of our reality is, you know, all is mind. This is where the phrase all is mind comes from. If you start looking up and into, into these hidden truths, you know, you understand that what we believe, um, to, uh, be the nature of reality is what, how we live our lives. Um, so anyways, uh, what I was reading here is that there are people who want to keep the knowledge of the causal and material realms to themselves in order to shape the world into what they want. The causal realm is the mind. For anything or idea to be expressed in reality, it must exist in thought first. Um, this is where I, I feel like I'm saying all this stuff before I read it. It's kind of weird. Um, I guess I really know it to be true then. Um. There are certain phrases, ideas, and concepts that are repeated and propagated in order to affect the causal realm and the aggregate, thereby creating a population of subjugates to uphold and carry out these social engineers' desires. <clears throat> um, the belief in government authority is a religion of today. Most, most adherents are unaware of their membership in the congregation. This religion is not based on spiritual or natural truths, but rather is founded on psychological manipulation and false belief systems. When you vote, you are actively participating in your own subjugation and willingly surrendering your ability to discern right from wrong and your ability to defend yourself. Belief in general is a very dangerous thing, but even more so believing that we can decide what is right and wrong for ourselves or elect people who do is also believing that there is a ruling class of people who have rights that individuals do not possess. So I want to stop and talk about something I heard um, somebody opposing a statist and the statist argument was like, I just don't trust people. I don't think th they were saying that, you know, they needed somebody to protect them against evil and wrongdoing. And he said, I just don't, I just think people are evil and, and I need to be pr protected, um, against them. And, and the, the guy arguing him is like, well, 
what species would you want to, <laughs> what species do you want to run the government? <laughs> so if you, you think that, you know, you need to be protected against, um, you need an external force to protect you against another external force. If you believe that you're, you're basically saying that, oh, just because it's this one entity means that they can't commit wrong. It's so, it's so, it like, the government has the strongest ability to do immoral acts, okay? They have a, they have the stranglehold on immorality right now and of overt dominance. If you can't see that the problem today is the belief in government authority, I'm sorry, but it's blatantly clear and it's hard truth to discover. It's hard to understand that the way you think and live your life has been wrong. And, you know, um, we're coming to the understanding that it, it, it has been wrong for a long time. Um, and we're starting to figure it out, I think. So um, anyway, share this video if you want. When a person decides to discontinue their participation in a false and hidden religion and begins to understand morality to be objective, an understanding of a generative, infinitely intelligent and creative force begins to reveal itself. Seeking to understand truth and employing methods of understanding spiritual principles opens the door to new understandings of the true nature of creation's reality. Where's my other page? So if there is a war right now, um, if we're in World War Three, the war of the minds, the war of the war of the ages, the war of the new age, okay? Um... New world order or new world order? Which way do you, which, what do you guys think? Uh, if there is a war for the minds, hearts, and actions of humanity, would you consider yourself on the front line? <clears throat> what would your weapons be? Would it be the way to truth? Would it be care? Would it be the love and worship of truth and life? If you are not on the front lines, are you supporting those who are? Are you idly watching and waiting? Are you supporting those people on the front lines? Are you clicking like and share and subscribe? <laughs> had to do that. I had to. Um, if Are you idly watching and waiting? Um, or are you engaging your thought and emotion into action? Are you waiting for Jesus to come back? Or are you doing things that will bring him? Uh, are you preparing yourself? You're the bride. Or what are you doing actively to pursue truth and what Jesus says to be truth, the way and the life? Are you seeking the true way of, of life? Life is. Truth is. What is and what has occurred. Whether or not you believe one way or another, it is the truth. Truth is will remain no matter what. There is one absolute truth. The knowledge of truth along with inaction is a leading hindrance to the progression of humanity. If you say you worship Christ, what action are you taking? Worship is putting your attention, focus, will, and actions towards that which is worshipped. If the way to truth in life is what you say you worship, what actions have you taken to focus your will and attention towards truth? Worship being your focus and will and attention and action. Have you actively worshipped life in any actions you have taken recently? So anyways, you guys rule yourself, seek the truth, and I don't really have much else to say after I read that. I know it's a lot of crazy information to a lot of y'all, and it's a, it's hard to hear stuff sometimes, depending on where, where you're at, but... I do this because I care. I care about um, the world we're creating. And I care about people passively saying, oh, well, I'm going to be dead anyways. Well, how do you know? How do you know that there's not a way and that how do you know that there's not a method of eternal life in the flesh right now existing on Earth? Do you know that to be true, that there's no way there's everybody dies? It's just the nature of reality. Or. Is there something else that we haven't discovered yet or that you haven't discovered yet? There's always room for more, always room for another cup, you guys. Thanks for clicking and we will see you in the future.